Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a cold air intake on a Lexus IS 200T. This is the 2.0 turbo. So yeah, this one will be for you. Any other model, it's not gonna apply. It might be the similar process, but not this exact way. So I actually went with AEM for this intake system and pretty much here's all the parts right here. The filter itself is gonna be like this nice red and then the main intake tube is gonna be like this kind of powder coated like a gunmetal color, which looks really nice. But you can kind of see, like, compared to the rest of the engine bay, that's going to actually fit in. It's not going to be all bright red or blue or just some weird color that's going to stand out. So I think it's going to look really good. So I went ahead and got all the parts laid out right here. Got the, uh, kind of like the air box firewall right here. But I want to show you guys how to replace this. Take out the uh, stock one and, like, this entire tube and everything. But if you guys want to pick up an AEM intake, uh, they are on Amazon. I'm going to have a link in the description down below, so you can definitely go pick one up there. And they're actually a pretty good price, so if you guys want to go pick that up, definitely check out the link in the description down below. But let's go ahead and get started with the project. All right, guys, so to start off, first we're going to have to remove this entire panel right here. So there's all these like little pins right here, which are super easy to remove. But if you need some assistance, they actually have these little pry tools. You can get them on Amazon. I'm going to have a link in the description down below for everything you're going to need. But you gotta start off with just pushing down on it and then it kind of like loosens it up. Sometimes you can pop it up. That's why I have this just to kind of make that a lot easier. And then just go around and remove all of those. Make sure you put them in like a little bucket or something so you don't lose them. All right, so now that we have all those little tabs out, we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up out of place. We're just gonna go ahead and set it aside. And next we're going to be removing the engine cover. So in order to do that, we're just going to lift straight up on it and then it just pops right out. And there we go, engine cover is removed. So next we're actually going to take a pair of pliers. We're going to loosen this little clamp right here and then we're going to take this one off. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to take out this screw right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and wiggle this entire hose right off of here. And there we go. And then you're just going to go ahead and kind of get this out of the way. And now we're just going to go ahead and take off that other hose clamp, which you can use a Phillips screwdriver or a 10 millimeter. All right, so now let's go ahead and remove this screw over here. And now we're going to remove the hose clamp on the other side. It's the same exact one over there where it's going to be the Phillips or a 10 millimeter. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a 10 millimeter on that. Now that this is loose, we can actually just go ahead and wiggle this off. Just going to slide it off from that end, and then we're just going to pull it right off from there. So just like that, that whole entire uh, duct is removed. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that aside. So now we have the entire duct out. We're going to go ahead and remove the MAF sensor. So the first thing we want to do is actually unplug it. There's going to be a little tab right here. You're going to push down and then you're going to pull this off. And then right here is actually like a little kind of tab that's holding that in place onto the air box. And then right back behind here, there's actually another one. So we use like a little pry tool thing in order to kind of get up in there and pop those off. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unscrew the mouse sensor. There's going to be two little Phillips screws on here. And once you take this off, you want to be careful with it. You don't want to just like drop it or throw it down or anything. And there we go. So we're just going to go ahead and set that aside. And now we're just going to go ahead and unscrew and remove the air box. There's going to be one screw right here. It's going to be 10 millimeter. And there's going to be another one right down there in the front. You will need an extension for this. And now we're just going to go ahead and unscrew the one from the top. And we're just going to go ahead and pull that up and out. Actually, on this piece right here, we're just going to try to wiggle it and slide it right off because you want to leave the duct in place. So I'm just going to pull the air box kind of up and to the left. There we go. So now that you've removed the uh, factory air box, you're going to be left with this giant open cavity right here. That is then going to be your air box. So this duct will still pull in air, and the air will then go down. And you can kind of see it right here. So that will actually fit down over top of that. But yeah, you have all this extra room now. All right, so now you're at this point, the new like, you know, like air box is gonna actually bolt on underneath this bolt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out 
And then once we put the new air box in, we're gonna put this right back and we're gonna put it through the other piece on the air box that kind of sticks out a little bit. But let's go ahead and start with the prep work on getting this whole thing set up. So what we're gonna go ahead and start with is the uh, intake two. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this plastic piece that came with that does have this hole. We're gonna slide this in and align the hole with the hole for where the MAF sensor is gonna go. There we go. And then we're gonna take the MAF sensor, we're gonna put it right back into this hole. We're gonna make sure that those screw holes line up properly. And it did come with two little screws. So we're gonna go ahead and put those two screws in here. So this kit did come with different hose clamps. There's gonna be a large one and two smaller ones. So you can kind of see the obvious difference there. We're gonna be using the large one for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the large one and we're gonna go ahead and put it onto the filter. So this is actually uh, rubber right here so you can flex it a little bit to get the clamp to slide on properly. And then we're just gonna go ahead and slide it right onto here. And there we go, just like that we got this entire thing with all like the kind of like the rubber uh, kind of like insulation kind of work on there. Uh, I do suggest for this top piece actually starting right here because I started off here initially and when I got to the point here, I had a little bit extra slack. So I took it off, started from here and then the extra slack just kind of wrapped around a little bit there. And then I got that little one on and then we got this one down here. All right, so now we can go ahead and take this heat shielding and kind of put it down into place. So it's gonna go ahead and slide it right down into here. There we go. And then to secure it on this side, we're actually going to be using the exact same bolt that we removed previously. So that'll actually just bolt right back into there. And then for this side, we're actually gonna be using this bolt that they did include. So we're just gonna go ahead and screw that right up into here. There we go. So now the new firewall is actually secured nice into place. We're just gonna go ahead and kind of adjust that, make sure that that's nice and uh, good as well. And everything's looking good to go. So let's go ahead and move on. But just so you guys know, um, but just to give you guys like a little up close, the, the panel does kind of go out over here. So you will have to go around these wires, but it does have like this little cutout for that. Um, and then right here, you can see this is where the original duct will go through and then it comes right into here. So that's where the air is going to be supplied. And the bolt down here, we're not going to use that at all. So it only mounts in right up here on top and right here on the side. And then once the hood closes, the hood's actually going to sit down right on this. The intake's gonna come in right through here, so all this is gonna be nice and sealed off. So next, I actually came with this little tiny thing where it's kind of like a rubber block with a screw and washer on each end. And we're actually gonna be screwing it in right here in the engine mount. So this is actually where the other one unscrewed from, so we're just gonna go ahead and put this right onto there. And it's gonna go ahead and hand tighten it all the way down. And then later, whenever we put the other stuff on, it'll actually tighten it down a little bit further, so. There we go, so now we already have that on. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so next we actually have like this little coupler. Um, it's gonna be a little bit smaller on one side as you can kind of see there. So the smaller side is gonna go onto the turbo inlet. So it's gonna go ahead and slide that right on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and slide on both of these hose clamps. We're gonna slide one all the way back. And you might need to loosen it just a little bit before you actually can get it on all the way. <laughs> there we go. So the one that goes in the very backwards is going to go ahead and tighten it right now. And the other one, we're just going to go ahead and just kind of slide it on into place. And we'll get to that after we put on the, in, the intake tube. All right, so now the next step is probably the most exciting step. We're actually going to be putting the intake itself back onto the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this. We're going to slide it into that coupler. And we're going to make sure that this little piece right here is lining up properly with that screw. And then you do want to make sure that this does set down in here um, nice and snug. And then we're going to move this hose clamp back just a little bit because we do want to get it around the actual intake pipe before we can tighten it down. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down. All right, so now we have both these hose clamps tightened and everything's looking good. You can actually kind of move it around a little bit and make sure it's nice and snug. And then right here, we're actually going to be putting on the washer and bolt. So you want to this can kind of move a little bit. So you want to get it where it fits nice and snug, kind of hold it into place, and then we can go ahead and put those on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the washer on. And you want to be careful not to drop this nut. I actually have done that. There's a little panel underneath that you can remove if you do drop that. 
Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that into place with the wrench. All right, so after we have this tightened down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here to that original like little hose. You're gonna go ahead and take your pliers, and you're gonna grab that clamp to kind of open it up, and then we're just gonna go ahead and then we're gonna slide right back onto this. There we go. So just like that, that's in place, and everything's looking good so far. All right, so now the final step, we're gonna go ahead and plug the mass sensor back in. So we're just gonna go kind of reach through here, find these wires. We're gonna pull it up through here. So what we're gonna do is on the actual new firewall, there's gonna be two little spots where you can kind of hook these tabs back into place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the first one in and the second one's gonna be right up here. And then we take this and it's just gonna go right around this outside here and it's just gonna plug right into the MAF sensor. And just like that, everything is complete and we're good to go. All right, so the next step is to take the engine cover and get it back into place. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that, line it right back up to where it goes. And we're just gonna pop it right back into place. And it actually sits nicely, like this intake sits nicely like right under the edge. So that looks like such a professional clean look. And now we're just gonna go ahead and take the cover and put it back right there. But other than that, everything is good to go. And the project is done. All right, so now that this project's done, it actually looks so much better seeing that on there. Especially that versus the old little air box, but this, I think it looks absolutely amazing with the cold air. And I love how this is pretty much the same color. That is probably gonna change at some point, but I do like how this is kind of a neutral color with the red filter. So I think it looks really good overall. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But if you guys like this video, definitely go down and hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos with kind of like how to with the Lexus IS. Also, kind of like a continuation on this car, especially since I do have like this crazy wrap and everything on it. So definitely hit that subscribe button. If this video helped you guys out, definitely go down. Let me know in the comments down below. If there's any feedback, positive, negative, definitely put down there, let me know. But like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.